Hello, hello, and welcome back to the podcast. So happy that you are here today. If you do not follow me on Instagram, I have declared September, happy September, by the way, as style September, at least around here. And I've never done a theme before, but I thought it would be really, really fun to do a theme at least for this month. If you have ideas for other themes for other months, let me know. I am always open to it. But there is so much around style meets personal development, which I talked about in last week's episode. If you haven't listened to that, go ahead and listen to it. It's a good one. And I just thought we'd keep on rolling with style. And before we dive into this episode, I want to invite you to the Style Experience, which is a free three-week experience via email notes from me to you on how to cultivate your unique personal style in a way that feels authentic to you. So I go over things such as choosing colors that make you glow, that make you feel beautiful, how to make a style statement that feels authentic, how to declutter in a way that feels like self-care versus friction and so many other things. So if you want to join the style experience, it is free. You can join via the link in the show notes, or if you're watching this on YouTube, the link in the description box. Okay. So let's get into the details. So what do I mean by details? I mean details when it comes to your unique personal style. And when I was thinking about this, I was thinking about ways in which my clients and me myself have made massive transformations in our lives. And they've come with really small details, really small steps. And I've also seen firsthand how little nuances and little details in personal style can really be a catalyst for profound development, for profound growth as a person. Style is really a visual language, right? It talks before you do, usually. If someone can see you, they're going to see your style, they're going to see those little details, and those details really reflect who you are, your personality, what your values are, what your goals are. So let me give you some examples. Maybe one of your goals is to be more bold, to be more confident, to speak up more, to stop people pleasing. A way that you can add details in, and I'm going to give some examples of adding confidence in details and what some specific details are later on in the episode, but I'm just thinking here. If being more bold specifically is something that resonates with you, maybe adding a really bold necklace or a bold bracelet or a big bold ring to symbolize you stepping into this more confident version of yourself. Another example could be if you are looking to add structure to your life. Maybe you put on a pair of really structured, nicely pressed trousers. So you see what I'm getting at here? Just adding these little details to add affirmations of in your outfit of what you're wearing to get you to where you want to go. So it's like putting these things on speak outwardly, but they also speak to you, to your inner self, and they can be so super transformative. I know you've had experiences where you might feel, and I'm totally talking about myself here, you might feel frumpy. I'll just talk about myself. Okay. So there are days where I feel frumpy and I'm wearing sweats and I'm not wearing a bra yet. I do put on a bra every single day, even if I don't leave the house because it just feels disgusting. 
<laughs> if I'm not wearing a bra, swinging around everywhere. Okay, I'm getting off on a little tangent here. Okay, so sweats, no bra, things swinging around. And I just feel like wishy-washy and where's the day taking me kind of thing. Even if I have a schedule, I do not feel at all put together. I do not feel organized whatsoever. Also add to the list, no makeup. So we're just, I'm just feeling kind of like a frumpy mess. But for me personally, I like to live with intention and every single day with intention. So that word comes to mind and I intentionally get dressed. I put on what's going to make me feel good. And here's a tip for you where I kind of started with intentionality when it comes to getting dressed is I pick one piece or I picked one piece when I started doing this. And for me, it was my watch. And it makes me feel put together. It makes me feel timely. It makes me feel responsible. It's amazing how something as simple as a watch, as an accessory, can just shift uh, shift how you feel. So that's a tip for you here. If you're like, I don't know where to start, think about being intentional and picking a signature piece. So for me, it's the watch. And I don't wear it every single day, but when I do, I can tell you that I feel totally different in the best way. I feel organized. I feel on time. I feel like I'm living in alignment with my values and getting things done and just all of the things. So the watch for me is a just tangible reminder, really. And when you add these details in, maybe it's a bunch of different signature pieces. They're really daily affirmations that you are worthy, that you are present with yourself, you are giving yourself care, consideration, and that just really, really feels good. So what I want to do now is just talk about some ways that you can start incorporating different details that symbolize you, that symbolize your values, that symbolize your goals. And by the way, when I mentioned the style experience that you can sign up for for free, one of the notes from me is all about aligning your style with your goals. So if you want to dig deeper into aligning your style with your goals, definitely sign up because that one is a good one. Okay. So here are some examples I have written down for you and take what you like from this, add in what is maybe you and different about you. I'm just giving you some examples of ways in which you can add details to your outfits that symbolize your values, your personality, your goals, all of the things. Okay. So accessorizing, there are so many ways to accessorize and we're not going to get into all of it, but things like statement jewelry, which we talked about at the beginning of the episode, maybe you're wanting to be more bold. So a statement jewelry piece, maybe it's a scarf. So there are so many ways that you can style a scarf. You could have the most basic dress and you're like, okay, it's a basic dress. I want to style this a little bit more. Try adding a scarf around your neck, around your waist, add a scarf to your handbag. And this is just such a beautiful and personal way to add interest detail with a, maybe it's a special scarf someone somebody has gifted to you or you bought it on your travels or maybe it's adding a belt to just add a focal point to your outfit to that basic dress or that basic outfit that you have it just makes it a little bit different and a little bit more you this one is fun and it is mixing textures. So when you're mixing textures, think about what season it is. So for example, if it's fall or winter, maybe you want to add in some wool elements. And I encourage you to think about this from the lens of personal growth as well. And an example I will give you here is I have always loved denim. I am wearing denim right now. 
So any way that I can add a denim element to make things fun, I equate denim usually with being casual and fun. I will add it in. And that could be with a belt. There are some really cute denim shoes. I have a pair of denim sandals that I love. So it's not like you're throwing on a pair of jeans. You can totally do that. And I am wearing denim shorts today. But think of different ways you can add different textures to your outfits. It just creates a really dynamic look that is appealing and it's very personal to you. So think about the textures that you like to wear under the lens of your personality. And I will say here, I'll add color in and that's a whole other ball game is color. But mixing in, in textures and colors based on how you want to feel, how you want to show up, and around what your goals are. Along those lines are patterns. So there are certain patterns that I, and I'm sure you, are totally unwilling to wear and patterns that you love. For example, I love leopard print. It screams fun. It screams sexy. It screams glamour, which are all key words that I have for myself around my style. So maybe for you, it's florals or stripes, just adding in these different patterns to display who you are, what your goals are, and how you want to feel. Ask yourself that question is, how do I want to feel when I'm getting dressed too? Beauty. We could go down a whole rabbit hole and do several episodes, several videos on beauty, but your makeup, your hair can make such a huge difference in your overall look and something so seemingly small as your hair and your makeup make a huge difference in your appearance. So I'm going to give you a, a few examples for me personally that I, I don't want to say never, but I almost never skip. They are a part of my look beauty wise. And they are number one is lip liner. I used to go without lip liner. I almost never do it now. My favorite lip liner is Charlotte Tilbury's Venus. Yeah, I think it's called Venus and it is the perfect your lips, but better pink. That is more of a warm pink. And for me as a spring season, I've talked about color analysis here on this podcast so many times. So I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole right now, but I am a spring. So warmer colors look better on me in general. So this is a warm pink lip liner and it's not like bright pink. It's not jarring in your face, hot pink. It's just the perfect your lips, but better pink. And I pair this with so many different glosses, so many different lipsticks. So lip liner, it just really refines your look. It softens my face in my opinion. So lip liner, huge difference. Okay. The next one for me is lashes. Oh my gosh. It has been almost two years since I have put mascara on, no lie. I have been wearing Lashify lashes for about two years, and they are life-changing. If you are considering DIY lash extensions, please try Lashify. I love them. I think that I have a, a code where you can save money on your first order with Lashify. I will link that in the show notes as well, but they have changed the game for me. Beauty wise, my whole look, number one, it makes getting dressed and getting ready for the day so much easier, so much faster because I do my lashes one time per week and it takes me 10 minutes total to do my lashes. So 10 minutes a week and I'm done with my lashes. You can shower with them. You can do all the things. They are like lash extensions, okay? Incredible. There are so many different styles to choose from. Right now I'm wearing Starburst, and I could not sing their praises more. When I go back and I look at pictures of myself just wearing mascara, like I can tell immediately. Lashes just make such a huge difference in 
your appearance. And that's not to say you have to do like these huge volume lashes. You can do natural looking lashes, any style you want. But for me, fluttery, beautiful lashes are a win in my book. Okay. So lip liner and lashes. And just to keep things simple here, because we could, like I said, go down a whole rabbit hole with beauty and let me know if you want me to do that. I'm happy to do more video or yeah, video content on beauty. But lastly is hair. Now I want my hair styled in some way, shape or form. I do not feel put together if my hair is up in a messy bun, completely unstyled. It just makes me feel sloppy and I feel more confident. I feel like I can get things done easier. All of the things when my hair is done in some way, shape or form, that doesn't mean it's the same every day. Sometimes I'll wear it really curly. Sometimes I'll do a cute updo. Sometimes I'll do more of a blowout look. And I love to try new things with my hair when it comes to color, when it comes to styling. And I want to say here, don't be afraid to experiment with new looks as you kind of explore new facets of yourself. Every single detail you can add to your wardrobe, to your beauty routine can really mark a milestone in your growth journey. And that's how I like to think of it for myself. I can look back at photos and I can tell what was going on in my life and what I was working on and really taking a look at what my personal growth was like at that time just really reflected in my style. So really embrace the growth, embrace trying new things. It's fun. So these style details and refining them and trying new things and adding new pieces in or new ways of doing your hair or your makeup, it's more than just aesthetics. It is really empowerment. It is showing up for yourself it's showing yourself that you are worth the effort. So I encourage you to play, have fun with it, add these little details, try new things, maybe add a signature piece that's really bold, really fun. And as you refine and elevate how you look, you're not just elevating your appearance, but really how you live because what you are wearing and in these details is going to change the way that you feel and thus how you live. I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, I would be so grateful if you would share it with somebody who you think might enjoy it too. So maybe somebody who's into style, beauty, personal development, please share it with them. And with that, I will chat with you next week. Bye.